Orchestration for us, it's a way that we best optimize the entire warehouse using multiple solutions. I think the idea and the concept behind orchestration in a warehouse, there's a lot of similarities to orchestration in music. A band will compose a song. It's very much like we orchestrate the day, the week, the month. It's important to have the right players and it's important that they're in sync and in harmony with each other. That's absolutely key. In the way that my band operates, things that are highly arranged also are blended with things that have an improvisational aspect to it. In the rhythm section, here's kind of what we play. We play these sort of rhythms, we have these hits, we accent these sort of things, it's this sort of syncopation, it's this sort of feel over these chords. Orchestration to us is how we best optimize our warehouse using our associates, systems, and the data. All those are coordinated together to drive the best efficiency at the end of the day for our customers. We do that using standardized processes and procedures to deliver the best results. We don't get in the way of this melody. Those are guidelines, fence posts. We can kind of play anywhere in that playground as long as we stay inside the fence. As far as the horns go, they have charts that they're reading. It is the exact arrangement. The string section, it is exactly the same every time. So when drawing parallels to orchestration in a warehouse, some things are programmed to do things and you want it to be the exact same every time. Other times you need the human hand for certain jobs. A harmonized supply chain is a coordinated supply chain, and our customer gives us a demand forecast to drive efficiencies. We're able to apply the productivity of both our automation and our associates in order to meet our customer demands. We also are in an interesting era where we have more analytics than ever. The majority of interactions that people have with me is on the internet. Now we can kind of choose where to interface in person and analytics will give me hard data on where do we think people are most interested in what I do. Just having the data doesn't drive efficiency. You can't orchestrate how to do things if you don't understand the throughput. And the important thing is not to just draw on one platform, but then there is this element of, for some reason, I just feel like we're gonna do well in Denver. And guess what, we do. There are certain things that are automated, there are certain things that require a human hand. Our associates are our number one asset. When our customer gives us forecast and demand forecast, to drive efficiencies. We're able to apply the productivity of both our automation and our associates to meet those demands. As a global company, we have a lot of experience. Orchestration isn't a buzzword to us. It's how we run our operations. Partners with some of our strategic robotic solutions really enable us to be at the forefront with our IT teams that ensure messages are flowing at just the right time to the next process, driving the most efficiency for our customer. So you really have to think of the warehouse from beginning to end and how to best optimize that workflow. Making this song, it's forcing me to think about writing in a different way, arranging in a different way. I thought it would be interesting to create some imagery of these things working together, working around each other, passing things off to one another. It challenged me in a really fun and cool way that I'm excited that I was able to do and hope to do again sometime.